Hi and welcome to another quick tutorial on the new retopology tools inside of 3ds Max. So I've downloaded this blue crab model from the Smithsonian 3D model library and I want to rebuild it with a clean mesh with the new retopology modifier. If I hit 7 on the keyboard you can see that this is a really heavy model, over 11 million faces in fact. That's a lot of data and since I really want to have a model around 100,000 polys, calculating 11 million polys isn't necessary and would be a lot more time consuming. So let's drop the poly count down a little bit first by adding a pro optimize modifier. Let's take a bit of time to calculate, so I'll pause while it's processing. Okay, now that it's finished processing, let's drop the vertex count down to 2%. That gives us just over 220,000 polys, so just over half of what I want the final poly count to be. Now I'll add a slice modifier to the stack. and rotate the gizmo 90 degrees on the Y. Let's also remove the bottom. This will again half the poly count that we used to calculate the final mesh, and I want it to be symmetrical at the end anyway. Next I want to check and make sure there aren't any small isolated elements that I don't want to solve. To do this, I'll add an edit poly modifier. I'll go into element mode by hitting the 5 key on my keyboard and I'll select the crack. It looks like everything is selected, but if I hit Ctrl I and invert the selection, I can see that there's a small element inside of the crack. I don't need to rebuild that since it's on the inside of the mesh, so I'll just delete it. Now let's add the retopology modifier. I want to set the face count to 50,000, so I'll just add a zero here. Since we aren't using smoothing groups or any edge data in this case, I can turn off the auto edge. Now let's compute. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. All that's left to do now is mirror the mesh over to the other side. To do this, I'll use a symmetry modifier. That's it! Now we have a clean blue crab mesh with a lot less polys while maintaining a lot of the detail that was found in the original mesh. I hope you found this quick tutorial on the new retopology modifier useful. Thanks for watching! 